Welcome back to Water Advisory. I'm your host, Danny Hirohita, and I am here in 2019, back off our holiday hiatus, back with another video, back with some more uh, reviews on, well, I don't even know really, to be honest, I got a cooler on the side, gonna do a little grab bag here. Um, like to wish everyone a happy new year, and uh, here we go. Oh, actually, you know what, let me go ahead and cleanse the palate here, you know. <sighs> Subpar water. All right. First, first and foremost, uh, if you're new here, uh, uh, I'd like to hit up with a like and a subscribe. Really helps out the channel. Um, first, we got Red's Blueberry Ale. At a, uh, I don't know if I'm down on blueberry, but you know, whatever. Let's see what happens. We've got uh, dripping water on me now. Um, Kona Brewing Company's Castaway India Pale Ale. I'm, uh, you can tell from the look on my face, I'm not too pleased about that because I'm not usually down with IPAs, but who knows, maybe somebody's fucking cracked the goddamn code on those stupid ass things. Um, oh, another Kona Brewing Company. Let's hope you uh, <laughs> strike twice. Uh, Fire Rock, just pale ale. No India involved. Uh, take that, India. We're not going to be too pleased about that. And, ooh, Angry Orchard's Hard Cider Rose. Uh, that ought to get you in somebody's pants eventually okay first and foremost gonna take a swig of these give me a quick review maybe try some with a few chips because some things are better with food some are not and uh let's go ahead and start with the reds this fucking smells like blueberry holy shit all right That's weird. It doesn't really taste like anything. I mean, there's blueberry flavor in there. Like, I don't know. Yeah, that's weird. Um, it's like if you had like a blueberry muffin and then the taste had already gone away because you'd gone on with your life, but you could still kind of taste blueberry. There you go. Um, here, let's try some some chips and see what happens. No, it doesn't really particularly change. Um, I think the salt might have kicked up the blueberry favor a little bit, but, you know, as you do... <clears throat> So, I'd probably just go with the regular reds, to be honest. Let's, uh, let's face it, blueberries just kind of a shtick. They ran out of shit to do. Um, alright, next up is, actually, no, let me go ahead and get that blueberry flavor out. Mmm. It tastes way better when you're, got something awful to taste off of. Oh, give me my coaster. Alright, Castaway. <clears throat> a lot of these bad boys are left over from my holiday uh, bash. So, uh, let's see. I don't remember drinking any of these, so that could either be really good or really bad, or the fact that I was actually just too drunk to remember. Um, Alright, Castaway. Uh, smells like a pale ale, but <clears throat> here we go. Mm. This isn't too bad. I mean, it still tastes like, you know, you ground up a bunch of flowers and fermented them, but, um, <clears throat> which, you know, technically kind of did. But, uh, I've had a million times worse than this. Let's see, what does it say? Uh, oh, there's something about Hawaii. What? All right. Hawaiians crossing the channel between Oahu and Molok Molokai face a perilous journey. Our castaway IPA is inspired by these brave island explorers. What the fuck does that mean? All right. A smooth yet spirited brew. It's a refresh. It's as refreshing as the wind in your face when you set sail for adventure. Uh, 
I don't know how wise supposed to take that. I don't feel like they uh, would appreciate it. Either way, um, let's go ahead and give it a try with uh, some chips. Nothing in particular. Um, what does it say? Liquid Aloha on the bottle. Ah, I got a little. Yeah. All right, you know what? It's like a little imprint. I don't know if you can see it too well. Of um, whole, like the actual Hawaiian Islands up here. Just Liquid Aloha. Um, just a fair shake. If someone's got like a too much of a fancy bottle, chances are they didn't put too much into the alcohol. But uh, <clears throat> there we go. I think, I'll rein it back, um, I think like maybe after one or two of these, maybe even just one, the the flavor might actually grow on you, um, <clears throat> not too bad after about like a few, uh, a few more times, let's see, what do we got on here, um, oh yeah, the fire rock, they're really going with a uh, Hawaiian theme, huh, I'm assuming that's what Kona, Kona Brewing Company's from, is it from Hawaii? Doesn't say anything about it, but oh, it is in Hawaii, slash Portland, Oregon, and Portsmouth, New Hampshire. You know, they've got such a rep repertoire between each other. Look it up. I didn't make that word up. <clears throat> All right, Fire Rock Pale Ale. What uh, what kind of shit they got this time? Active volcanoes on the big island of Hawaii leave visitors awestruck by their power. The glow of lava is as, as it meets the ocean is an amazing sight. All right, okay, we get it. Um, the part on the left side's flavor text. And our fire rack pale ale is inspired by the, this place with a bright copper color and rich roasted malt taste. All right. <clears throat> you know, like lava. <sighs> I like this one better than um, Castaway, for sure. Um, a lot less, like, uh, gar uh, grass clippings taste going on. <clears throat> Is that the hops? Someone going to get technical with me? I don't care. Yeah, that one's not too bad. Mm. Let me double up. Mm, it was, uh, smells like a beer. <sighs> no change, but Fire Rock so far, best one <clears throat> of the four so far. Well, all right, let's uh. All right, let's try some um, rosé hard cider. Um, blah blah blah. Drink responsibly. Oh yeah, drink responsibly, everybody. <clears throat> Maybe with rare French red flesh apples. I think someone made that up. Either Angry Orchard made that up, or France made that shit up. That doesn't smell right. <clears throat> I'll be honest. That smells like if you left ham in the fridge too long. That doesn't excite me. <clears throat> Alright. Here we go. Flavor's not that bad. Um, hmm. This is 
more like if you were more into beers and not really into wine, like I'm not too big into wine. Like this is okay. This is I would drink this. Um but if I was really into wine and not into beer, this might hold me over for like an hour or two. So <clears throat> depending on which party you're stuck at, this might uh, be a game, uh, maybe a saver <laughs> for you. But um, all right, let's try it with some chips to see how the flavor changes. Actually, that's a little bit better with the chips. Um, <clears throat> I guess it really brought out the flavor. I don't feel like an asshole saying that. Um, either way, not too bad. Uh, so I think as far as either beers or ciders or drinks go, uh, i definitely go with Fire Rock out of these four. So if you're looking to try out something new, um, definitely go with that. Uh, <clears throat> that being said, uh... Thanks everybody for actually making it through the video this far, and um, big thanks to my Patreons. Uh, without you guys, uh, none of this would be possible, so uh, feel free to check that out. And, uh, hey guys, it's a water advisory. Can't drink the water. Have a drink. Oh, fuck, not that one. Ooh, there we go.